for the last week you guys have been asking for an update on the brand new Mark V Deluxe and 340 Weatherby. How's it shooting? Is there any videos coming out on it? So here's my update. Last Tuesday I went and shot it to break the barrel in, do all the procedures, and uh, the stock split. The minute I found the split in the stock I emailed Weatherby, showed them pictures, explaining the situation. So let's talk about the situation. Let's first talk about the ammo I used. So me being the reloader I am, I did not buy factory ammo. And I bought Weatherby brass. I loaded it up at a very mild load with a 200 grain hot core with IMR 4350. I used 79 grains of IMR 4350. This is what the brass looks like after I shot it. There is no cratering, there is no ejector mark, and the bolt was extremely smooth. Just so you guys are aware where 79 grains is, at least in the loading data, this is a spear manual with the 200 grain IMR 4350, a starting charge of 79 grains, which is exactly what I used. So this was not a hot load. This was not over pressure whatsoever. I mean, it's a brand new gun. I, I really didn't want to do something stupid with the rifle. Here's where the wood split, right in the front action screw. Now the first question you might ask is, did you torque it down to spec? And yes, I did. I first, like Weatherby recommends, I started with the rear action screw to 35 pounds, and I did the front action screw to 35 pounds. Both of these screws were actually pretty darn tight and really didn't need to be torqued down. But as you can see, it split probably two inches up. One other thing is after I shot the first load without a brake, I decided to put the brake on. So I shot these loads with a brake on that will reduce the recoil. I also did not shoot this in a lead sled. I've heard horror stories about stocks breaking from lead sleds, so I shot this from a front rest and a rear bag against my shoulder. As I said, I emailed and I did actually call them a few times to talk to them. They are sending me a shipping label. They want to look at the rifle to see what they can do. However, they were very clear that their service policy Weatherby Incorporated does not warrant against any type of defect to the firearm that Weatherby did not cause, including but not limited to damage or defects arising out of, number four, hand-loaded, reloaded, or improper ammunition. So they were very upfront and clear that it is possible that this split in the stock is not going to be covered under their warranty. Any of you that have been following the channel know how hard I worked my butt off to get this rifle. Um... It was a $2,800 rifle. Not only did I have to save up that money, but I also lost almost 50 pounds of weight to uh, motivate me to get the rifle, to get into shape. So I, I'm a bit devastated with this. And I'm just currently waiting to hear what Weatherby is going to do when they evaluate how the stock uh, malfunctioned. You might ask if whether he decides not to cover the rifle under the warranty, why not just get a brand new Mark V Deluxe stock? Uh, well, those cost $750, and I've already spent over $2,800 just to get the gun. So I want to hear from you guys. Um, if I have to buy a brand new stock, what stocks would you recommend? It, it's tough because... The Deluxe is kind of a, a package deal, right? So I don't really want to put another aftermarket stock on it because I feel like that stock with that barrel is a match made in heaven. It doesn't really fit with other stocks. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish I could be showing you how awesome this gun is shooting, but this is just the reality that my rifle broke. This is not a one and done video. I'm definitely going to be updating my channel as I go with what Weatherby decides, what kind of new stock I'm going to be getting on this rifle. So if you guys want to follow along, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and hit the notification button.